version. We'll see if it does YouTube as well, right? We, we yeah. have it. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Is, will the whole thing work? That's always fascinating to me. <laughs> So give it five minutes and then we'll just use your phone. I guess I should be talking then. What up? <laughs> How's everyone doing? Yeah, it's been a long time, right? I haven't streamed in ooh, maybe two years at least. Um, thought I'd do just a little bit for fun uh, tonight, trying out a bit of an experiment to see if we can get uh, both uh, YouTube and Instagram going at the same time. Um, that's because this is all possible because Sean's back, basically helping out, uh, sort out some of these things. So we'll, uh, we're just gonna work a little bit on this hand, just doing some uh, quick block ins, nothing, nothing major um, tonight. And really, this is gonna be a very short-lived, uh, short, short-lived video. Uh, I've got somewhere to be uh, in ooh, about an hour. So yeah, we'll just, we're just gonna run it at this pace. I do want to go ahead and kill the volume on there. That's there's a dial on the right of that speaker. Oh, yeah, yep. And yep. So yeah, I, I I can't see what you're saying or anything yet, but glad to have you. Welcome to the fun uh, for the evening. You know, I I never knew when this was going to happen again. So uh, it's kind of exciting to be be back at it. Um, I know uh, some of you are watching uh, from various parts of the world, uh, and uh, I don't, I won't name any names, uh, but uh, eagerly looking forward to this moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, when I'm uh, when I'm working this part, I I'm just trying to find some of the planes of the hand here. I'm just kind of searching them out uh, and doing everything I can to. Pay attention to a yes, the drawing. Obviously, I've already kind of got it sketched out here. Uh, B um, value is sort of next, and then color is of course last, right in our kind of hierarchy of uh, importance. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like um, perhaps we're on uh, in two places at once now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Okay. Uh, you may, uh, I believe, uh, Sean, if you want to head into the closet, there is another tripod, if you, if you dare. Uh, if I dare. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. There's always a, there's a nice little light spot in between the fingers, usually, that, you know, catches some light. Uh, always, that's uh, one of those, like, really painting nerd, uh, exciting spaces. To, to get in, so I'll put this little kind of like highlight right here between in, in the 
in the webbing of, of, our, of our hands. That's always one of those spots that's uh, missed, uh, but well, one that really uh, does a lot for your painting uh, when doing hands, that little spot, so nice. If only I knew like the, the name of um, some of the, uh, these parts as far as like, you know, what, what is the uh, scientific name for that? Medical name for that little portion there, I don't know. Gonna have, to, gonna, gonna, gonna have to help me out, uh, people, because I am just, I am, I am but a painter who uh, doesn't know his anatomy. Not by name anyway, but gosh, I sure know it, that it glows. And then too, I'm gonna pay attention to this little shadow just on the inside of here um, as it kind of rounds up and heads toward the knuckle. Um, and ooh, this is much darker than I have it here. So I'm just add a little bit of some from my dark brush. I got a dark brush and a light brush. I'm playing with back and forth right now as I as I work on getting this uh, built up. Um, I'll I'll answer some questions as, as as soon as I as I know what they are. Um, and I suppose let's see maybe maybe I can get creative here too. Um, Sorry. Mm. Make this one work like this, huh? You gotta put it this way. Hey, it's all good. Pull in up. I don't know. We made. We'll, we'll see if we even have the bandwidth here. I'm here uh, at my new studio, which is very exciting. Um, and it's fun space. Uh, if you like to see pictures of it, I guess there is one picture on Instagram um, that is, is is pretty sweet. Kind of shows the. Nice big north windows there. It's a beautiful space. Um, nope. 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 Do, 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 do. That one. Okay. Please try not to bump it. Yeah. <laughs> Just about that. <laughs> I mean, I got a case. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna live stream. Sounds great. Two, one. You're now live. Sweet. Hello, hello. Hey, let's go. Let's go in here. Okay. Let's see. Um. Okay. All right, I think maybe, so just scary. maybe, um, we're almost there. Let's see. Oh, I've got like Going 20 people there. already. So, hey, so. Um, 38 people, 42. 42, hey, hey everybody. Uh, we're just working a little, little quickly tonight. Um, you can just hop on for a couple minutes. Um, as you can see, I'm just working on the hand here. I've already done a few uh, simple blocking strokes. If you've watched some of my reels, you'll see that it's just a matter of kind of picking and choosing a few shapes that I see and then piecing those out. So there's a few here, a few there. And yeah, if you have any questions, really, I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna try not to say a whole lot. Uh, you can watch and just weigh, weigh in here and there. Uh, you can also tell me I'm doing it all wrong. That's fine, if you want to. Um, so yeah, so here we are. I'm, I'm taking a look and uh, you know, noticing this is this sort of whole cylinder of the hand, the back of the hand here. And obviously then, you know, if we're gonna break these down into simple shapes, these are also kind of simple cylinders. Um, but there are some kind of cool things in the way the knuckles uh, get a little redder or some of the edges of the hands get a little cooler or warmer. Uh, it's a blast to puzzle out. Skin tones are just so fun. Your children so, say hello. Oh, that's hi. Oh, hi, children. Oh, that's so fun. N nothing like getting greeted online by your children. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, I see at this little space here, right at the pinky knuckle. It's just a little warmer. So let's ooh, let's just drop that in there. Ooh, that was too dark. Um, 
I will often just put a color down even though I think it's maybe a little wrong uh, or I find that it's wrong. So I'm just going to come back on top. Oil painting, so simple. I can just come back on right on top with another color and kind of knock that out. Oh, I went a little too far. Okay, let's just go back. Oh, a little too far. And we can just kind of work it back and forth. Like I said, I got these kind of light brush and dark brush. So I've got that, that little space there put into place. All right, here we are. Let's uh, keep on rocking. You got an amazing Vince. Whoa, thanks. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna, I think I can watch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Are you gonna watch it? Yeah, yeah, I think I can keep it, I'll keep a, keep an eye on there. So, a little bit anyway. Trying to watch. <laughs> 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 uh, I like how that happened exactly like you said it would. Yeah. Um, try, try not to bump it, he said. Uh, and that's what happened. Oh, so cool. Um, so here we are, um, doing a little bit of painting. All right, I see this lighter shape here. It's a little cooler, so I can cool it off. Uh, I'm gonna put some a little bit of cerulean blue in that, and uh, yeah, just right back on top, just cooling it off a little bit because this edge gets a little cooler, gets a little warmer across the top here, and then in the shadow. So hey, thanks for uh, dropping in. This is gonna be a very brief video. Um, I've gotta be somewhere really shortly, but I thought I've never done this before. I've never tried uh, 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 yeah, streaming through Instagram and YouTube simultaneously. Did you know I had a YouTube? Got one. Uh, you can watch some videos there uh, at any time. On EVW, or yeah, same, same as my uh, Instagram handle, EVWIII, just take a look up. Uh, take a look at look at that on YouTube, and that'd be great. All right, um, let's see. All right, we're gonna slowly work on some of these. I'll try to see. We're trying to watch for comments, but if you have questions, please please ask ask away. I suppose like the like the biggest question is always. Um, uh, I feel like what's your palette? That's always the the question you ask when you don't know what to ask. So I'll ask it for you. Somebody said a lot. <laughs> Uh, oh, hi. Uh, and what, what's your palette? You know, that's the question uh, you get a lot. And then what brushes do you use? That's another one of those questions um, you get. Um, palette, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Utrecht oil paints. Um, they are uh, hand milled out of Brooklyn. And uh, uh, Utrecht, if you're out there, um, sponsorships available. So, yep, yeah, well, you're welcome. Uh, and I love, uh, I love the quality for the cost on those. Uh, paint's nice and buttery. Uh, the pigment saturation is nice. Uh, and it ends up uh, you know, uh, working really well, I think. Uh, just for, I, th I think it's great just for anybody who's you know, studying oils. Uh, if, you're, if you're a new student, um, if you are uh, a veteran, uh, I just can't go wrong with those. I, I like them. Uh, and then uh, the palette, as far as, you know, I like, like titanium white and lead white. I'll use uh, cadmium yellow, I think a medium, I think it's something like that. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I forget. Is that bad? Um, and, and then other times, um, definitely uh, yellow ochre, uh, cad red, um, cerulean, viridian, burnt sienna ultramarine blue and viridian um yeah that's it's kind of a lot um and you know if if you're if you're one of those zorn palette people it's like too much um but i i, I like just a little bit more so this thumb back here gosh uh just a little darker um and so i'm gonna just add a little little bit of darker value to it so so that it sits back there back behind the hand because the light's coming from this side side of the uh, of the imagery cluing in taking a look at that and let's see right here yep there it is um, and and you'll see that uh, there's you know there's some areas that are done some areas that are undone and I'm just hopping around finding another little mark that I like a little area that needs to be attended to um, honestly it's sort of about making painting fun <laughs> uh, you know this like making that adjustment there that was a little too light so I can bring in my dark um, there's not a lot of shadow here although this edge along this finger and the side of this hand 
is uh, yeah def definitely a little little darker, but really everything is uh, quite quite light, quite bright. And thanks thanks for that hundred percent, Maximiliano. I I am just guessing. Sorry. I, uh, and love to slowly kind of watch it come together. Um, I like to be as surprised as you uh, when I'm painting and just kind of intuitively moving to the next thing. Um, I was like, ooh, I really want to get something down here. Oh, too dark. Wow, went, went too far with that. That's okay. I, I rush into it. In fact, my way of painting is make, make the mistake uh, and then come back uh, and correct the mistake because if I have anything on there at all, it's like that's cluing me in as to what um, what needs to be there. Because uh, I can say, oh, I dropped that in, but that is way too dark. Uh, so I'm gonna come back in with my, my lighter skin tone. I did a few pre-mixes here, just from the, the palette that I just described. If you weren't on and you missed that, you can uh, go back to earlier in the stream and just hear me list those off. Um, you know, I'm always, uh, yeah, that's good too. Let's get that in there. Um, I was talking earlier about some of the sweet spots in the hand. One of the things we, we don't think about, we get so caught up in the hand with uh, fingers, right? Here's like, oh, uh, it's a finger next to a finger next to a finger, but there's like those spaces in between um, the, the little webbing. Any, uh, any uh, people out there that know what that's called, uh, mention on the chat because um, I feel like those are some of the spots that get neglected in, in painting. There's like some nice in-between light that happens between the fingers that uh, kind of rolls down. Syndactyl. Uh, whoa, the syndactyl. Thanks. I have my, my guy. My guy's on that. Um, my main man, Sean. There's a white okay. band. Syndactyl. Okay. okay. All right. You, you, you heard him say it. I, I'm going to get it wrong. So is that, is, that a, is that a Google pronunciation there? Is that... Correct. What? Yeah. Well, actually, that's the connection of two or more fingers or toes. So that's. Ah. Oh. Okay. No. Uh, it's a. Con that's a condition. I, oh. I, well. Yeah. Anyway. So we. So here we are, uh, getting some of these values in here, and I, I think one of the fun things about kind of this method of just putting things down in this manner is, um, you're you're slowly kind of watching it and unfold um, and not getting too detailed like you know I'm, I'm trying to kind of keep it all worked about the same um, in the same way it's called interdigital folds interdigital folds that's what those are or see, plica interdigitalis mm, yep whatever whatever he just said yeah. uh, interdigital folds sounds pretty cool okay you see, see how I made that uh, the mark earlier? It was totally kind of way off, and it, and it blew it out. I, that's uh, that's kind of the thing I was talking about. I had that great quote by John Cleese um, uh, that I I posted with uh, one of my reels about just like getting out there, putting something down, even if it's the wrong thing. I know there's a lot of teachers out there that will say, oh, no, no, take your time and get it right the first time. And I'm like, no, just get it wrong. Uh, get it wrong and then come around and, and make it right. Um, that, that's just a, it's just a base uh, from which you can judge. Because ultimately, like, I think it's good to be a good guesser. You want to be a great guesser at painting and drawing uh, and, and by guessing. You know, you know what I mean. I mean that it's... Uh, that's kind of all we're doing, right? We're kind of looking at something, we're trying to make it look like something else. We're trying to guess, okay, well, how far away is this finger from this finger? How far away does this, you know, these distances, we're constantly judging distance and using comparative methods. Um, the better we can come at guessing, you know, the better off we're gonna be always uh, because when we enter our next drawing, our next painting, uh, we've just, we've done, We've practiced. Uh, we're, we kind of know what our tendencies are. One of my tendencies is is to kind of uh, I have a since I'm right-handed. There's a drawing, and I think it happens to us all, depending on uh, which which is our dominant hand. You have a comment on the where uh, where we have uh, something uh, that that drops. Uh, sorry, I got trained. I, I totally got side rail. Uh, 
So, um, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Um, we're we're going to have to come back to that. Uh, all right. Getting back in here. I got to fill some of this in. Um, I think, because I think this is about right here. I've got some veins. I want to try to decide, like, how, how much do I want to put in? You know, I really want to, like, hint at it rather than the knot. Let's see. What about that chunk of skin between the middle and the index finger, somebody says on YouTube? Let's see. Um, what about that chunk of skin between the middle and index fingers? Like, so, so this, this fellow here, um, or like in here, you're talking about here? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm always hunting, yeah, those, just those, some of those shapes down. Oh yeah, that was a good move. All right, cool. We're going to keep, we're going to keep going. Uh, uh, painting should be fun, <laughs> so make, make it fun for yourself. Uh, like I said earlier, become a good guesser. Uh, if, if you're not already, uh, find a class in your area to draw from life. Um, get better at drawing. If you don't have a good class where you can do some of uh, that sort of thing, definitely uh, find, you can find some good uh, like bark plates or things of that nature online and begin working from those. Those are great ways to begin to understand how, how things work. Let's see. <laughs> it says, okay, I guess they're not taking questions from the chat. Well, I'm, I'm trying, you know. There's, there's a couple of chats uh, I'm watching simultaneously, so. Right. All right, I keep, keep, keep kind of fiddling around, don't I? All right, let's find something new. Let's go to a new area that just needs a little bit of attention. Okay, uh, the width of uh, the area in the light on this index finger is just a little wider than I have it there. In fact, I still have some of the ground layer showing through. So I am going to come in and uh, just bring in a little bit. It's a little warmer on the edges uh, than in the center. So it's just a little mark here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I think it gets a little cooler on the top. Uh, it just appears from kind of my reference. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we might need to bring up your camera a little bit, Sean. It's okay. It's getting a little low. Uh, just raising it up a little bit, just straight up. So thanks for being here on the stream. That is, I don't know. Should, should we keep doing stuff like this? That's that's really the question. Um, you know, uh, I thought it would be fun to try because I've never done an uh, Instagram stream before. And hey, maybe the last one, I don't know. So party up like it's the last stream of eternity. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to get some of these little knuckles in here. Um, uh, C. C. Colburn, um, yeah, he's out. He didn't really like how how I was uh, responding. That's cool. Um, you, you gotta love the pin. Whoa! See, look at that. You see, all of a sudden, it was like surprisingly uh, kind of large and crazy. And that's all right, because then I can kind of come back in, I can bring it in. Um, if I don't like it, uh, I will just kind of pull some of it out. I could wipe it out. Don on YouTube says, looking awesome bits. <laughs> Thank you, Don, appreciate it. All right. Slowly but surely making there. We'll probably be on for like another 10 minutes. So uh, if, if, you have a, if I have a question, I mean, I may be able to answer it. I don't know. I might get distracted. I might, you know, who, who can say? I might not even be able to say anything coherent. That might happen too. So up, uh, up to you.
again, general to specific, uh, that's all this is. It's like, um, you know, if, if you've seen some of my other work uh, uh, via Instagram or what have you, I mean, you're gonna tell that, yeah, there's there's some refinement that starts to happen, but this this space is kind of quickly about just trying to capture those major, major relationships. And then from there, we'll, we'll get a little more specific. But yeah, the whole rule of general to specific is, um, is at play here and it's definitely recommended. You can kind of uh, reduce a lot of the, uh, the errors that kind of come this way um, on the front end. You have a question. Can we see the whole painting? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, actually, wait a second. That's a good question. You can actually see the whole painting on my Patreon. Yep, that's right. Uh, that's, that's that guy and his like paywall thing. Um, but yeah, I do, uh, I do release uh, works directly on my Patreon. Um, uh, so you're seeing all the newest work as it comes out and also uh, some behind the scenes uh, stuff. So if you'd like to see it in person, I guess there's one of two ways. You can either live uh, in Wichita, Kansas and attend Wichita Fine Art Atelier. That is one way you could see what I'm working on. And the other way is to join my Patreon and see some of the works. Assuming that Sean made a post the other day. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so, okay, well, I take that back. It's not up there yet. Tomorrow. Uh, tonight, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What color did you use for the ground? Oh, the ground. Uh, I mixed a little bit of um, raw umber and uh, a viridian of all things, um, just to make the raw umber not so, uh, sometimes it just feels kind of too warm, too kind of too warm brown. And I, I just want to kind of get it a little more um, even, uh, a little, little more neutralized, uh, cause I, but I still want it just slightly warm. And so you can kind of see still where it's peeking through. Here's, here's that ground layer right here. Um, it, it's almost, uh, you know, it starts to be kind of near like a Van Dyke brown or something like that, but, but not quite, because I still like to mix it with the sorts of things I, I use regularly, so. You got hi from Mexico. Hey! And Kansas is too far. I live in Paris. Paris, we'll well. Check out on Instagram. Thanks, it's awesome. Hey, uh, well, if you're all the way in from Paris, I don't know. Yeah, you've got like awesome museums like all, all around you to check out uh, many more amazing works. Uh, in fact, uh, man, drop drop Instagram right now and, and go. We're not supposed <laughs> to be <in> time. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, it's, you know, it's that whole. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a mind game, right? <laughs> Isn't it all social media, big mind game? All right, um, before we get into that, I think, you know, this is just really fun being here with y'all. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for dropping in. Um, how about that, like, that white blob that I put there earlier that was just crazy? Yeah, I'll have to fix that at some point, but that's all right. We're going to kind of come back in here and work these in here yeah anyone uh got like another five minutes anyone have a, a question that uh i can maybe answer did i tell you that you had a high from mexico too yes yeah, yeah. okay sure did. and argentina Woo! um see sometimes you know like uh, I, I try not to do it, and you, you've probably seen me, like, you know, I might make a couple of, of strokes, but a lot, oftentimes, like, I, I want to kind of do it just in one uh, before I get too fiddly with it. Uh, when things kind of um, get a little, you know, this little too much brush action, when, when really, like, you know, you just kind of set it down. So this is also sort of like uh, like a tiling method. So just slowly kind of laying out some of the tiles. Yeah. Just a little warmer in there. Uh, that's a really dark edge, which I, I have in there, but I need to put some color because that's my, I did a, if maybe right at the beginning, you might have been able to see that I had a, a slight, really simplistic um, underpainting, you know, but it was, it was really rough uh, and, and quick and easy, so. 
some of these marks in here. I think this is, uh, um, and then, you know, sometimes, you know, maybe say I will do a little bit of that. Um, but in doing so, I'm trying to sort of follow the form of the hand. Uh, so I want to kind of describe the circle of the knuckle. Um, let's slowly get some of that in. You got the question, what is your palette? Oh yeah, hey, uh, uh, if you, I answered that one already earlier in the stream. So uh, that was one of the, so you just uh, buzz back uh, and you can check that one out. Um, uh, the other question that's usually asked is what brushes are you using? Those are the two, right? Palette and brushes. Um, uh, Utrecht, uh, you know, I use Utrecht oil paint. I like their brushes too. Their mixed synthetics are, I think, are, are pretty handy. Uh, I feel like they have, they work fairly well, and I, I like the flow off of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you can tell me your favorite brush, and um, I might give it a shot. Um, I, I've never been too much of a uh, you know, here ready ready for something real divisive right here. I've never been uh, a, a guy who thinks brushes matter all that much. Okay. Ooh, just came out with that one. Um, so if you're, I just have not found uh, things that, um, sure, there's differences between like bristles and things like that. Sure. Is the brown next to the thumb a shadow? Um, brown next to the thumb, as in like here that I just put down, is that what we're talking about? Um, next yeah, to the thumb, I, I think that's what, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little shadow. Mm -hmm barely on the edge uh, and you know I think maybe I need to extend this out see and so too like I realize sometimes there's like just little drawing things I'm like yeah then I make that and then I don't like it so much your uh, wife says use a brush made of your cat's hair <laughs> yeah uh, she 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 would like that uh, might as well do something with it <laughs> well uh, here here's a uh, you ready for TMI and, um, and a, an interesting little known fact about uh, your friendly neighborhood oil painter, Ernest Vincent Wood III. Um, we have a Christmas, okay, you ready for it? This, this is the part you wanna, rec you wanna record and, and, and put on blast all, all over the internet. Um, uh, I, you know, we've combed our cats, obviously, you know, you, you care for your cats, you comb them. And uh, I, I made a little Christmas ball, you know, those empty glass balls. Uh, and I just stuffed a bunch of his hair in it. So that one hangs on our tree every year. Um, as just like, uh, hey, this is something you'd make constantly, cat, lots of hair. Uh, and I'm going to make a beautiful ornament out of your fur. So there you go, a uh, little known fact. You learned that in the last couple of minutes of the stream that I might be just a little weird. Okay, uh, that knuckle just needed to get a little darker. I'm kind of watching it on the edge here. You know, light coming in from this side and seeing how, ooh, you know, this was just a little darker up here. And I'm gonna have to pay attention to that along here too. That's something I could do. Let me make another kind of mark here. You notice I'm not trying to do a lot of blending per se, but just trying to find the right value to sit in between this light and this dark uh, as this form kind of turns around. Uh, and I think I've got it here on the brush, but actually I don't rightly know until I put it down. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, I might want to do one more kind of like that. What is the secret to blending? Oh, uh, blending. Uh, secret to blending is don't do it. Um, <laughs> Uh, really, like you want to avoid it. So you see, I just kind of put that mark down, and it was a little like a uh, little loud, right? Well, I guess maybe this is a blending. I can just kind of come back into that one, right? Um, I can take it back out. I can push it back in, um, and you know, until I feel like it's somewhere. And that, that's still too light uh, to really turn the form, turn the back of the hand there. So I'm gonna come back in again, and on top, just bring that, and maybe I will take that same brush, so here's maybe a blending tip. Uh, it's still charged with, what, with what's there, and then I'll kind of drag it across again. Um, and then that's, that's you know beginning to start the motion here. Um, I'm gonna charge it one more time, the kind of same color, and bring down that, that just a little bit. Um, again, just a kind of a mark at a time. I think the danger is, of course, like, 
uh, really trying to get in there and do too much little fiddling. Um, that is, yeah, it's just the way to like, you're just pushing stuff around uh, that it just doesn't get very well, very far. All right, um, let's see. All right, uh, one last minute. Uh, what you got? Got anything? One last question. I'll answer it, maybe. Unless it's about my uh, strange fascination with uh, Christmas ornaments with my cat's hair in it. I respect that. I always enjoy seeing that. Okay. Hey, thank you all uh, for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for the fun. Uh, and <laughs> oh, there's oh, there's sad sadness. Well, hey, uh, we'll try to do it again one of these days. Uh, but but you never know. It's it's kind of whenever. Hey, uh, much love uh, from Wichita, Kansas, and uh, never stop painting. We'll see you. Don says thanks.